too. Well, this is me, Jimmy McMillan of the of the Rent is Too Damn High movement. <clears throat> In case you haven't heard, by now the day is Saturday, May 22nd. In the city of New York, uh, uh, Andrew Cuomo announced that he was running for governor of the state of New York. We welcome that. And, we always say, if you can stand the heat in the kitchen, come on. Uh, New York State is under a cloud of corruption that was formed back during the administration of senior Mario Cuomo, who have passed his bad habits on to his son. And that's all we're going to say on that. Let's get to the issues of America and how New York State can help. America, as well as the state itself. Uh, the president signed the $800 billion bailout and the $700 billion stimulus, and he has made the citizens of America ownership by 60% of General Motors, and including the reinvestment plan and all the toxic acid bills they've signed. None of these bills the president has put into place is going to help the public president can't create the jobs needed and there's a lot of there's more questions than answers what he has done is basically poured fuel in a fire of greed and nothing he has done is going to create nowhere near the jobs to help get America back on the right track is why I had written a president a letter and I had asked that I meet with him because I'm confident my agenda in 1994 would help him today in 2010. The president is going to have to meet with governors of states. And what the president did, he interfered with a natural process, the collapse of the Wall Street market. We believe he should have left it alone pouring money into the system set off an imbalance of not giving states an opportunity to reform their government, reduce the prices and the size of government. So it's not it's too late to talk about why he did it. It's just a question if he did it and it, it was a, a bad mistake by the President Barack Obama. But what at the moment, the president didn't know, and he was being mayor, city council, governor. He played the role of everyone. And I, I can't condone him for that. But when you don't know, you don't know. But I, I will say, Mr. President, you made a bad decision in doing so. You should have left it alone, allowed the market to collapse. States would have addressed, it would have adjusted themselves by state government, would have reduced the size, would have been forced to reduce the size of government and roll back the prices in which I'm still campaigning that happened. They would have been forced to roll prices back. Americans have the money to spend in the process of doing so. Businesses would have come back to the small city towns and counties, but not by the move you made. The move uh, the president made was simply a media, Washington DC paper stunt. It, it's, uh, it's moose and nothing will be gained from it. And I say it here and I close for the rent is too damn high TV magazine by saying nothing the president has done, nothing will keep America from continuing to falling into the hole. Uh, not one program will create one job but the president can, if he listened to me, if he collectively communicated with governors of states and governors of states communicated with the mayors of cities and executives and spoke to them about rolling prices back simultaneously, it can be done. But as it is today of May 22nd, that has not been done. And unless someone step up and do that, everything that has been done 
It's a total waste. Well, this is Jimmy McMillan of the Rent Too Damn High Party. I don't have my button on today, Rent Too Damn High. I got someone I gave it, given it to someone who wanted to represent. Once again, we're mobile and we cover events, as I said in the past, uh, some current events we cover and some we go to, but this is the current event that's taking place and so we're talking about it and we hope you appreciate it. But I, I will repeatedly say, and one more time before I close, not one package the president has put on the table will help the citizens of America and would help states, cities, towns, and counties create one job because there was more questions than answers. There's a lot of money left out there with no way of, no, no one has said how the 60% ownership of General Motors is going to get to the public, how the $800 billion stimulus, I mean bailout, and the $787 billion stimulus, how it's going to be benefited, how the public is going to benefit from that. They don't have an answer for it. If they did, they would have been said it and we would have been known. Damn. Thank you for listening.